Okay, so here we are in, um, in my studio actually, and uh, this is the very last day of actual recording. We'll be doing some more mixing, but um, this is the last bit of recording. So, uh, is that a nostalgic uh, or a sad moment for you, Robbie? It's a sad moment and a happy moment all rolled into one package. So what's this little beauty you've got there then, Robbie? Well, actually, this is a mic preamp and DI, and it's actually, if we look around the back, called the Robbie. What's it like having a piece of gear named after you, Robbie? It's, um, it's very flattering that Blue saw fit to name such a prestigious and high-quality bit of gear after me. Um, I'm very, um, very, very flattered at that. Are you chuffed? I'm just, yes, yes. So look, um, this is a, this is another fantastic uh, occasion to bring out a very rare. Uh, I don't I don't own many guitars, do I, Robin? In fact, I only own w two, and this is one of them, and it's a ancient Rickenbacker. It's a lovely old Ricky, and um, probably needs a bit of work, but for, for the purpose of this, it's oh, worked pretty well. It sounds so great, though, doesn't it? I mean, it's just got such a vintage sound. Oh yeah. Did John Lennon used to play this guitar? I don't know if he played this particular guitar. Actually, <laughs> you know John Lennon, he's just behind you there yeah. in the picture with, uh, with George. Just so that he's always a presence in my studio. But, um, but he did play a rhythm back then. He did, but not that actual one, right? Not this no, particular no. one. Actually, my brother, I bought that off my brother Martin, and um, it's such a beautiful guitar. I just This is the sort of thing that it's makes great. me want to be a guitarist rather than a keyboard player. Yeah, and what you can't really get is the fantastic smell coming off this guitar. Did you hear that? We should be doing this video recording in smell vision <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, it should. Yeah, no, it smells great and it sounds great. And um, we've actually used it on one of the Can you describe the smell? It's Fantastic. It's, it's, I tell you, I tell you, it's like, it's musty, isn't yeah, it? Let's say it's musty. Musty smell. With a hint of sun meadows or anything like that? Or uh, a hint of lavender. Lavender. Nice, nice. So, Robbie, do you think oh, we should, like, um, you know, Rustle up a few more tracks so we can keep this album going for another yeah, year or so. Yeah, keep it going, yeah. Just endless <laughs> I, recording I, purgatory. I, I, just <laughs> endlessly doing recording and never actually making an album. Uh, yeah. I, can't, I can't bear it to, to end. It's getting close to the ending now, yeah, but yes, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. But it's been a journey. It's been a journey. It has been a journey. And, uh, when it started off as a drum and bass album, who'd have thought it had turned into this? <laughs> um, okay, well, we're signing off now from the last recording session of the... Ordinary Heroes album. Bye.